The Danes arrived here in Belgrade today. One of the favourites for the tournament, they became European champions in 2008. They won silver at last year's World Cup and they're a mainstay in the semi-finals of big tournaments. But what expectations do they have this time? Well, uh, we have great expectations, we have high hopes, we are very ambitious uh, and of course uh, it all depends on the second place we got at the uh, World Championships in Sweden. Uh, so uh, we hope that we will go uh, perhaps even higher this time. Uh, we are looking forward to the tournament but still also we know that uh, what is necessary uh, if, you, if you have to go uh, for a win, for instance, is to be very uh, humble and uh, to be respectful uh, towards the opponents. Uh, there are very, very many good opponents and uh, half a year before the Olympics, uh, everybody is trying to uh, find the, the good shape so that they can qualify for the Olympics. Our, our goal is to uh, to win this tournament, but we know it's hard work, and we know that uh, there are several other teams that also have this have this ambi ambition. So uh, we know we have to to beat uh, some of the very good teams and have a little bit of luck also. You are missing a couple of players, like well, most teams here. Uh, you're not worried about that. No, absolutely not, because that's the way it is. And uh, we can't talk about uh, the injured players, they are not here. We have to focus on the 15 players that are starting the, the, the tournament here, and they're very good. As favourites for the tournament, I would say there's France, Croatia and uh, Spain also. It's impossible to say which team will be the best. Uh, I think after the first two, three matches, you can see which uh, direction it's all going in. Uh, then uh, we have seen uh, how, how the teams uh, get on uh, with, the, with the tournament. But it's the usual suspects, isn't it? It's the big teams. The four teams that got into the semi-finals uh, at the World Cup must absolutely be among the favourites and then uh, what I call the two, two home teams, uh, Serbia and Croatia also.